What's up dudes? Chooch out here riding on the M10 Ford. Now this is the new little miniature electric unicycle from the company Begoad. And this thing, it, it really is, it's a miniature electric unicycle. This is an 11 inch wheel. Typically the electric unicycles you see most people riding out there are going to be like 19, 20 inches big. This one is like half the size of that and it, it's really small. Like even being half the size it feels smaller than that so it's it's a little miniature wheel but it this one is the fourth generation of the m10 previous one was the m10 3 that was a fun little wheel but i don't think it really just had the the just the umph this one has going towards the market this one looks really cool it's more powerful than the last one it you can pick if you want an off-road tire or a street tire guys um, there's a picture out there. I don't have it right here um, in this video. I need to find it. But if the street tire on this thing looks sick as well. The street tire looks really good on this little wheel, and it, it I mean, it's it's awesome. It really looks rad with both the street and uh, the Navi tire. And you can select if you want either one, guys. If you get this from the link below from eWheels, you can select if you want the street tire or the knobby tire whenever it ships to you. And you don't have to mess with changing it or anything. So that's really cool that they're doing that. And if you ride in the city, dude, definitely get that street tire. I think it'll be fun. I think it'll, it'll corner better. You'll be able to really rip it around and, you know, enjoy it in the city. But I think if you live anywhere where you have trails and stuff, Dude, the tire, the off-road tire makes this little thing look really cool. And it makes it, like with a small diameter wheel like this, guys, you want all the traction you can get whenever you're going hard in your, into your corners. And you can feel this little thing almost about to break traction when you're really going like 20 miles an hour into a corner on the gravel on this thing. You can feel it literally the whole time it's about to break traction. But with this new great off-road tire that it ships with it holds on man and it makes it so much fun because with a small high power um you know a small diameter wheel with this high power man you can you can start power drifting on this thing you can make this thing do all sort of crazy stuff man like i, I would have only dreamed to have one of these things as a, like a kid like if you're a dad and you have a kid that's out there and they're kind of on the fence about getting into EUC or even if you have a young kid that you've been skeptical about buying them a wheel just because, you know, EUC um, can be dangerous if you don't wear the right gear and you get out there and you aren't on the right, you know, if you're, you don't want your eight-year-old kid ride one of these around it through New York City. I understand that. But you can get, you can ride these in the right scenario in the right place and if you are like this in a mountain bike track or whatever dude a, a kid would easily be able to grasp this and, and ride it you don't have to shift gears like on a mountain bike you don't have to shift gears like on a motorcycle that's one thing that i learned that i never really put two and two together about with electric unicycles because i started on motorcycles and then i came to these and it was like a when i first started riding electric unicycles it was a learning experience like everything else is but i always thought that like most people that rode electric unicycles probably knew how to ride motorcycles as well and that was probably the case like in the early years of like you know 2015 to 2017 most people probably did know how to like ride a motorcycle that were riding an electric unicycle just because i mean like it's definitely not the same at all but it's it's similar if you know what i mean it's definitely similar and um, one thing that I learned about the electric unicycle and why people really like it a lot is just because once you learn it, there's not much more else to learn other than just learning how to ride the unicycle. You don't have to learn how to shift gears and do all the other nuances you do with a motorcycle. With a motorcycle, it's... I ride a lot and I always have have rode, but I understand how hard it would be for somebody to learn how to ride a motorcycle like in tra in traffic and shift gears and you know put a foot down and not come into a corner too fast and all that type of stuff on the roadway. But with an electric unicycle, it's just a lot easier and it the wheel works with you. It works with your body. Whenever you lean back, it just puts on the brakes. Whenever you lean forward, it just accelerates. And it just really works well. The device is, seriously, I've said this a time and time again, 
It, it's the best type of transportation we're probably going to see in our lifetime. Until we get jetpacks that don't tear shit up behind you, like I've said before, this is going. This is the best way to get around. And something this small is just so impressive. Like this little wheel right here is. You see it. It's dominating these mountain bike trails. And having good power pads on here definitely helps that. But it. It's a great little wheel, guys. It definitely has impressed me. So I, I rode. So I rode these trails, guys, from that last video. I rode back on this trail. I rode all the way up here um, to even more trails, and then I rode around for you know another 30 minutes after that. I don't have any idea the mileage it was exactly, but I know it was a lot of riding, and I know I, I wasn't going easy on it the whole time. And whenever I ended up going back and putting the wheel up, I had two bars of battery left. And it still wasn't, it still wasn't slow. I still wasn't getting beeps, um, you know, really from going over speed or anything like that. I still was able to ride at a decent high speed on this thing and enjoy it even whenever I only had two bars of battery left on it. And that was after a long time of riding this thing around, guys. Now, if you're riding in the city and you're just at a sustained speed, you know, that's where you use up a lot of battery. So if you're at 25 miles per hour on this, just ripping in a straight line through the, through the city or whatever, or like on a bike path, then yeah, you're going to be using a lot of battery. But it's it will blow your mind how... And that's why the one wheels are able... That's why I think, like, with the one wheels, that's kind of gone completely to the off-road scene uh, for a lot of people to ride like little trails and stuff like this is because it, it simply doesn't use a lot of battery guys when you do a little trail ride and stuff like this like even the inclines like even the steep inclines don't use a lot of battery it's seriously when you're going top speed on these things at like 25 miles an hour for a long period of time is when you're using the battery the trail riding stuff is incredible guys how much and that's why I love the wheels like the V12 High Torque, for example. And like, I, I'm still, like I'm not saying get this wheel like over a wheel like the V12 High Torque. Like the V12 High Torque would be way better um, on this trail. You could ride it way faster on this trail. You could ride it way farther. You could do way more with it. But it's, th this wheel right here is just fun in itself. It's only a thousand dollars. It's like a little novelty item. There's no reason you know, if you got an extra thousand bucks, there's no reason not to have one of these things. It's a, it's a total blast. Like, if friends are coming over, if you want something to ride around in the driveway, if you want something just to play on, you know, I, whenever I went out to go ride these trails, I took my M Super Pro, and then I took this wheel right here, and, you know, I was good to go. I played on this thing literally all day, way longer than I thought I would, and then when it got dark, basically, I got the M Super Pro out and went for a, a Hail Mary run and just rip, uh, gave it all it's got because I knew I wasn't going to be using all the battery in that thing and before dark. So I just, dude, I got on the trails and lit them up on that one. I, I filmed it too. I'll, I'll, I'll upload that in a few days. But, man, I was flying on that thing. But it just shows, dude, it's good. It's fun to take both wheels and have multiple wheels for different things. And I was able to get off of this one and then get on my other wheel and transition fine. It didn't, I was able to, you know, one thing that I noticed that helped a lot, guys, I'm not even kidding you, this little thing really, really helped me with my knowing where my pedals were at, my pedal consciousness is what I'll call it. It really helped me know exactly where my pedals were, how high above the rocks, how high above the ground they were. Um, the snag points that guys like that right there Like hitting the pedal right there all that makes you better guys It makes you really adapt so when you get on the bigger wheels that do have pedal clearance You're even more aware of stuff like that. So if I came booking through there After that happened even on a bigger wheel that maybe could clear that but it, it could be a little bit sketchy I would take the extra precaution because I learned on this little wheel to maybe unweight more so or ollie higher coming out of that corner down there to get over or to get my pedals over that um, rock on the side. And, and I really did. Whenever I got on the bigger wheel and I came flying through here, I was like, dude, I'm riding this thing with the same pedal consciousness that I had on the smaller wheel and I'm really flaring these pedals up over all these rocks and riding it in a safer 
more aggressive way than I would if I just went out here without riding these same trails on the little wheel first. So it really was incredible, guys. I'm, I'm not kidding you about that. Like getting on the bigger wheel after riding this little one, it felt, man, like you were able to just transition and, and go. Um, I mean, it, this little wheel builds the skills is what I'm trying to say. It has its place and it definitely makes you a better rider riding a smaller wheel like this around you know and a lot of people out there you know in the community are going to be like well, why would you buy something like that what's the point of getting a little wheel like that dude it's all about the fun of it it really is it's simply about the fun of it yes there's a bunch of other wheels that could go faster down this trail have more pedal clearance down this trail you know definitely they're out there but there's not one that's a thousand dollars that's this much fun to take on this trail and do this what i'm doing right here it really isn't so and and i would buy another one i really would dude i i really really like this wheel a lot and i i'm seriously every time i go to ride anywhere to go ride any trails i'm taking this thing with me and i'm going to ride as far as i can and as much as i can on the gnarliest stuff i possibly can on this little wheel because it is just fun to do it i love it but if you want to pick one up hit the links below it helps me out i appreciate it i'll see you dudes in the next one cheers absolute blast that right there is the one wheel killer total blast for a thousand dollars goes farther goes faster can't beat it dude the build quality is like a tank for this little thing epic one of my favorite ones of all of them I love it <laughs> it's so small, but it's so cool.